First and foremost, for those who don't know, I'm Elder Rikashiar of the Gathering of Christ Church, and I identify not according to my religion, but my bloodline as an Israelite. So does the majority of the members that are baptized within this church. Okay. The majority of the members identify as Israelites. And also there's Gentiles, which are non-Israelites amongst the body doing the work of Christ, which means whether they be Arab or uh, white people, whether they be Hemetic people, it doesn't matter whether they be from uh, East India and have converted. Uh, we have people who are in the academy and have been baptized from Pakistan, whether they be Arabs, they have converted, right? And why am I putting that out there? Because over 3,000 Israelites and Gentiles alike in Christ converged on, on Pittsburgh, for the Passover. For the Passover. And guess what? There was no media insight to, rec to record these examples of Israelites. There was no media. Three, over 3,000 people converged on Pittsburgh. And all white. And you would have thought that that would have been what? A big deal. Okay. Don't forget over 3000 people supporting downtown Pittsburgh at a time after COVID when all of the shops were suffering. Okay. A convention, a Passover that really emboldened that economy that was suffering. Because eventually, don't forget, we were there before uh, uh, Saturday. We were there before Friday. So, it, so to go out to dinner, to support the shops there, to buy extra things in, in case we needed extra clothing. Let me tell you, we infused over 3,000 people, infused a lot of capital into Pittsburgh. And you would have thought that the media would have came out and wondered, What's going on here with these black people who are claiming to be Israelites? But they weren't there. You know why they weren't there, brothers and sisters? Because this is not the example mainstream wants to portray. This is not the example. Let, let, let's see what they could have gotten out of these particular Israelites. Friday, March 17th. I smell food too. I smell food too. Oh. We were supporting that waffle and chicken. Look at that. Look good, ain't it? What's up, y'all? After so after breakfast, we walked to the convention center where they had the um where they had the Hebrew the the different Hebrew shops. We got a couple of things. I got some soap, some scrub, and some body butter. And Yaltazak got the Hebrew calendar, and he also got Bishop Bishop Amos' new CD. But that's all we Bishop got. Bishop Amos' new CD. Oh, something about that body butter. Sisters be going off with that body butter. Yeah, I got some body butter. The husband got the Hebrew and Bible Academy. I mean, I mean the, the calendar. But folks, what you see here, what do we see here? You see people coming together, 
not talking about supporting one another. Don't forget the Bible states a nation divided against itself cannot stand. We're not talking about supporting each other before the Sabbath comes in. We support one another and promote what business and enterprise amongst the saints. Y'all, after so after breakfast, we walked to the convention center where they had the um where they had the Hebrew the the different Hebrew shops. We got a couple of things. I got some soap, some scrub, and some body butter. And Yaltazak got the Hebrew calendar, and he also got Bishop. Bishop Amos new CD. Look at that. But that's all we got. Now we're going to head back to the convention center for the actual like gathering, which we're going to do a short lesson on Passover. And this is my dress. You'll be able to see it. Now you uh, you have to also see the humility of the men and the modesty of the women. See, they can't come and try to demonize or bring something negative when it comes to people being Israelites. When, when, when the church come together. That's why media wasn't there. Okay? Let's go. Zach went more casual, but he got some tassels to match my dress. So, we still matching. Yes. <laughs> I'm the star tonight. Look, look at that dress. Oh, and check it out. You have to check out this prince. Check out this prince, folks. Let me, let's go. Look at this. Look at that. Sharp. Sharp. You see this? You understand? A man of the most high. Nice, clean, clean cut, well spoken. where they're pulling man and woman apart and attacking family. You think they want this example out there, brothers and sisters? We would have readily invited or, or allowed any of the media to come out and interview anybody that was a part of this spiritual gathering to understand what an Israelite is according to God. But there was no camera. There were no cameras anywhere. News circulations. You think they didn't know we were there? You knew that you know they know we were there, right? <laughs> sure, that's right. I gotta come down. I gotta come down. Look at that. <laughs> Pass over day. Pass over day. <laughs> Look at that. Tell me the enemy isn't hurting right now. Boy, they would like a mass, some type of mass massacre or something to, to, to equate to Israelites or whatever the case is. And I'm going to show you why I'm going there in a moment. 
But this is really the examples that I've, 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 the majority of time I've seen amongst Israelites, peaceful people, non-threatening people, people who love God and Christ. Look at this. Look at this. The t Shabbat Shalom, the tribe of Ephraim. Look at the modest, the modest apparel you see brothers and sisters are adorning. Classy. Total, total class and righteousness. I need y'all to see this. Look at the prince and the princesses. Look at that. Praising the Most High on Passover Day. Enemy is so upset right now, aren't they? They cannot use anything like this to try to give uh, an Israelites in a negative connotation, right? Look at that food. No swine in sight. No swan in sight. 100% kosher according to the Bible. You just got exposed, huh? <laughs> he literally makes me carry that chili, uh, the Chipotle chili powder in my purse everywhere we go. So he can do that. The play, the play, Sister Shirley put together, what a great production. Showing Christ's last days and what happened after the resurrection. All 
I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Talking about the Romans coming after us in Christ and trying to crucify and destroy the children of Israel. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me keep on going.